Hello again, Tom from Every Step Calculus, everystepphysics.com. I'm going to do number four here in my attempt to make a video for every one of these use a trig substitution problems dealing with the uh, right triangle, all of them, you know, and putting the different parts into the hypotenuse, changing it around, and doing the calculations there. And calculus slips in a derivative here and integral to make it look like it does something useful, but it doesn't do anything useful. Um, after 25 years of studying this, more than a doctor of mathematics, I've studied calculus, okay? I say it solves nothing useful. Derivative solves the slope of a line, the integral solves the area under a smooth curve, and it better be smooth, and it better have a range, okay? Or you can't do anything with it. Notice these here, you have 9 minus x squared in this system here, putting x squared x in front of the square root. Here is x squared minus 9, and here's x squared plus 9. Wouldn't make any difference if you had the 9 plus x squared. The calculator will change it automatically back to x first, something with x first, and then the, um, you know, the number later. Um, we're going to do number four here. You notice also that if there, uh, the parentheses, notice when you do anything in, in with fractions or denominators, make sure you put the parentheses, correct parentheses in here, okay? Notice here, if you didn't have the parentheses here and you had just the x here, well, the calculator, any, any mathematician that knew anything would go one divided by x times, so then this would be in the in the numerator rather than the denominator. So make sure you use correct parentheses. I see a lot of kids, in my uh, experience, not using times between functions or variables, etc. You don't know what the heck they're talking about, so obviously they uh, weren't listening in their elementary math course. But and then also if there's a eight or nine or something in the, in the numerator here, you have to put that outside the integral, okay? Even if it's a fraction, you're going to put that outside of the integral before you do any integration, okay? That's another trick you've got to learn and be able to do it in two seconds. Remember the derivative solves the slope of a line and the integral solves the area of a under a curve, smooth curve, okay? It better be smooth and you better have a range to it or you can't function at all. And remember also in, in calculus that when they say that this solves other problems, you notice that all the information has to be in the function and there's no classes for functions, okay? So if you make a graph or something and trying to figure out the function for it, that takes a, more of a genius than anything else and nobody can do that, so calculus does not solve anything useful. Never has, never will. All right, so anyways, let's do this problem. Index 8 to get to my menu. I'm already at use substitution. All these things are substitutions, so you, you choose use substitution in my uh, main menu, in my programs, okay? And here's use substitution. We're going to enter the function here. You have to press alpha first before you, this button right here, before you enter anything in these entry lines in my programs, all my programs, in physics or calculus, okay? And um, I've already entered the information in here in the simulator to make it save time. And here's number four, square root of x squared minus nine dx right here. This is, the one, this is the one we're doing. Okay. Press enter. I always give you a chance to change in case you made a mistake if you're entering it into your titanium calculator. So, and you can change it if you want. I say it's okay. First thing I want you to know that a squared is equal to 9 and a is equal to the square root of 9 and 3. It's, here's, the, here's a squared right here. Okay, and here's the original function. We're going to do some calculations before to, so we can do the rest of it, okay? We're going to make x equal to a times secant of u. 
we differentiate both sides remember we differentiate this as one d x i put that in there you don't need to put it in there a lot of people would d x but it was confusing if you're reading that up on calculus equals a c can't you tan you ok tangent of you ok that's the derivative d x equals this right here ok and here's x squared we do the x squared i show you that too x a squared times secant squared of u now notice if you're going to do this without my calculator my programs you're going to have to memorize this stuff for one problem that might be in a test and you're certainly going to flunk it you're not going to be able to do it i mean you, you could memorize it if you studied it for two weeks like maybe i have but even i would have trouble memorizing this stuff because there's so much to remember it's like a like a language like learning latin or something you know so anyways you do that first now we're going to we're going to compute this here with regard to trig substitution we have an x squared here we're going to put the x squared in right here this is x squared and we're going to put the a squared for the 9 okay now we got two a squares in here so we're going to factor that out the square root of a squared bring it on the outside of the integral I show you that and that equals and then the the this is an it becomes an identity of secant squared u minus one okay and so with the Pythagorean identity that becomes tangent squared of u okay so we enter those into the problem here and so this right here square root of x squared minus nine is equal to really a times tangent of u so it involves two here's the original problem now with the new substitutions we have dx in the top so we substitute again we put the dx in here and we have the a and the tangent u in the in the denominator okay notice that they cancel here's a and tangent u in the numerator and here's the denominator okay so that cancels and we have the integral of secant u du so now there's a basic integration rule in the back of your book of of uh, your 1300 page book that you bought for $135 at school and here's the identity the rule log of secant u plus tangent of u that's what the integral of secant u du equals okay so now we're going to um, do those calculations okay so here's x equals a secant u so then therefore secant u is equal to x over a okay square root of x squared minus 9 is equal to a times tangent of u so tangent of u equals you transpose the a to the other side of the equation divided by that you know actually dividing both sides by a so we know tangent of u we know secant of u okay and we enter that into these into the identity or the rule here we have it here and then we're doing a uh, you know the other transformations that we've figured up before you have to put them down in your paper here just like you see it right here we're adding the a for three remember we figured out the very first what a is three and of course a squared is nine we put those in now they throw in a log rule okay a log rule remember anytime you have a fraction well the denominator is a log and the numerator is a log so we have log of x minus log of 3 plus the log of the square root of x squared minus 9 minus log of 3 plus c we factor up the minus log 3 here right here and then the genius mathematicians have figured out that this is not just C it's C1 and they make C1 log of 3 isn't that convenient so that cancels and then you have the answer equals log of X plus the square root of X squared minus 9 plus 3 notice all that work to get this remember this is the area under a smooth curve if you put X in here and solve for this in your calculator you come up with a number but you notice there's no range so you have to add figure out the, what, what you're going to put in here for the other constant for C so it's all just baloney it's all just puzzles 
very, very, very tough puzzles like Sudoku or crossword puzzles in English. And uh, you come up with this stuff and meaningless, absolutely meaningless, but you have to pass your class. So in my, when I was programming the calculator, I couldn't do it without my calculator, so I programmed this stuff for me so I could pass my calculus class. So go to my programs, my, my website, buy my programs for $40, much cheaper than you'll ever have, and throw away your calculus book, throw away your study material, buy the programs, and you're going to pass calculus. Hey, have a good one. Good luck in your class, too.